Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review that has been long awaited for me and I feel really bad for the people, the company who actually sent this to me. I'm so sorry, I've just been really busy and stuff and I'm finally getting around to doing it and it was really chaotic, um, but when they actually sent me these things, which are colored contacts. Um, they, two of the ones that they sent me were actually, they weren't different colors, they were just slightly different designs, and it just kind of bugged me, like, looking in the mirror, like, really closely, I was like, like, you know, like, just, like, looking in that, like, one was a little bit thicker in the, like, the outer, darker part of the rim, and it just bothered me, so I was just like, if I bought these on my own, I would have asked to return them. So I asked to get a different pair or just swap, change them out or whatever. So they kindly sent me a new pair and they were super sweet about it. It was really fun um, and it was just a great experience overall. So these are from Angel Contacts. Obviously I'll link it in the description. Um, a lot of YouTubers have done this. I found out about them through Nicole X Cherry Boom X7. I'll have her username in the description. I love her so much. Um, we met in New York, but I'm not really going to say where because I don't think she wants me to. And I think she can... Yeah, okay. So we met in New York, and she's just so sweet. On to the contacts. So first of all, um, when you get your contacts, they will come in a little jar like this. Each contact comes like this, and... The brand is Magic Contacts, and isn't it Geo? Yeah, it's Geo. And Geo is sent like uh, uh, I've seen the brand like Geo a lot. Uh, I've seen it on Pinky Paradise, Honey, Honey Color, Color Honey, whatever. Um, but I really, really love the packaging. It comes with metal around it. So if my mom had to open in the, open these, she would not let me touch them because she's just very um protective about that stuff. So if you're like my age or, or under, definitely have a parent help you with these. And I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form that you should be wearing colored contacts. These have no prescription in them. Um, my mom wears contacts. She helped me with all of this. So it was, um, my mom helped me pretty much with all of it. So I'm not saying go get colored contacts and do it on your own because don't do that on your own. It's, it's pretty, not complicated, but just do it with an adult. Um, so it's pretty nicely packaged, and then these were like sealed shut, and then they come open. And the liquid that is in here, okay, my for, my go-to guru is, for information is Bentley Blonde. I really love her because she really, I feel like she really studies her stuff. Even if she didn't, she just has a lot of information. And in her contact videos, she was saying that um, the actual fluid in here is not the solution that you should put it directly onto your eye. Like, the solution in here should not go in your eye. That will burn the crap out of your eye. And I found out the hard way. Um, yes, I had to keep my eyes shut like this for almost five minutes and I couldn't open them. It was painful. It burned the crap out of my eye and it just really hurt. So I recommend getting a multi-purpose solution. I get mine at Costco. My mom wears contacts. She's been wearing contacts forever. But it's just like really big, it's cheap, um, and then you take out your contacts. The way I did it is I popped this thing off and I held, I held clean fingers up against this and I just let the littlest amount and then I just kind of, oop, there was leftover water in there. Oh well. I just kind of dripped it out and like that and then the contact would just come right onto my hand. I put it in the contact case it comes with which it comes with this kind of contact case um, and then I would you have to let it soak in your solution that you bought separately for at least two hours and then even then I would still say at least like four hours or something just you know give it that really good soak let them soften up let them you know do what they need to do um, and then you can put them in your eye and the way I do it I just go like that lightly because I hate all oh, Tugging in my eye just gives me chills. <laughs> um, but I just lightly go like that. I put it on my finger, make sure it's the right way. You can tell if it doesn't, if the sides kind of curve out, you'll see it. Just kind of play around with it. 
fold it in and out and so you get used to the look of it. If it's a nice bowl, then that's perfectly fine and then you could just apply it in your eye. Do not sleep through the contacts. I'm telling you, do not. I have the worst fear of just like closing my eyes for five minutes. I just, for some reason, I just, I, I hate doing things that like people know you're not supposed to do. Like, no, no, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like intuition. I don't know. Intuition. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I have so many pictures on Instagram of me wearing um, pairs of these. But the pair, my everyday pair is with my mom right now. Uh, it's actually in her purse because I wore them today. I wore them for chemo. But, yeah. So, I have one, two, three, four. Four of them right here. And I'll put pictures in. But, yeah. So, the first ones are the gray ones. They just look like that. First, get them. I recommend wearing them around the house just for like six hours or as much as you can until they start to feel dry. Or actually, these last about six hours, um, depending on where I am, the weather, excuse me, how well I clean them before and everything. But normally, around four to six hours around that, which is really good in my opinion. Um, so right when you get them, the first time you put them in, um, walk around the house for about until they you just can't stand them anymore pretty much. Take them out and then the next day do the same thing and eventually the actual contact will shape to your eye and do not share your contacts. Just don't. Um, when you're doing it, make sure you wash your hands before you do it. And also plug your drain and fill it up with a little bit of water. So in case you drop your contact, like if you're doing it in the bathroom, obviously. That's what I'm talking about. Um, then if you drop your contact, it'll just float. So that's the way I learned. Um, yeah.